in this video we are going to discuss about introduction to microprocessors such as what is the purpose of a microprocessor and then we will see history of the microprocessors or this can also be called as evolution of microprocessors or various generations of microprocessors let us discuss all these things in this video first let us see what is the purpose of a microprocessor microprocessor means processor so processor can also be called as microprocessor so microprocessor means cpu we know that cpu stands for central processing unit what is the major task of cpu what is the purpose of microprocessor any program in the computer is executed by microprocessor let us take the example of watching movies so that is done by microprocessor playing playing some games that is done by microprocessor listening songs that is done by microprocessor anything in the computer is executed by microprocessor a computer is simply a dummy component without microprocessor in order to understand more about the microprocessor let us draw the block diagram of the computer block diagram of a computer so any computer mainly contains three types of devices first one is input output devices so let us write input devices here let us draw the input devices here next we have two two more components processor and microprocessor and memory here let we have alu here alu let here we have control unit so there is a communication to one from communication between control unit and alu here let we have memory here memory here next output devices output devices so this is the simple block diagram of a computer so what is the first one input devices input devices are mainly useful to provide information to the computer to provide input to the computer the commonly used input devices are keyboard mouse so these are the commonly used input devices so next here we have alu cu alu stands for arithmetic logic unit cu stands for control unit the combination of alu and control unit is called as microprocessor the combination of alu and cu is called as microprocessor in short we can write as mu p mu stands for micro p stands for processor okay next here we have memory whenever we save the program then the corresponding program will be stored in memory so memory is mainly useful for storing the data mainly we have two types of memories are there the first one is secondary memory secondary memory the best example for the secondary memory is hard disk whereas the second one is main memory main memory the best example for the main memory is ram random access memory okay whenever we save the program then the program will be stored in secondary memory why because secondary memory is non volatile memory secondary memory is non volatile memory non volatile mem non volatile means it is permanent memory secondary memory stores our data permanently in the computer we know that uh, if we want to execute any program then that program needs compilation and execution during compilation also the program resides in secondary memory so after typing the program whenever we save the program 
the program will be stored in hard disk during compilation also the program resides in hard disk but at the time of execution that program will be transferred from hard disk to the main memory so what is main memory main memory is volatile memory so volatile memory means main memory is temporary memory whenever we switch off the computer then the contents of the main memory will be lost here the problem is cpu can execute a program if the program resides in main memory only if the program resides in hard disk then the cpu can't execute that program cpu can't access secondary memory cpu can access only main memory okay so whenever we uh, just uh, whenever we open any movie then automatically that movie information will be transferred from hard disk to the ram hard disk to the main memory whenever we open that movie file then automatically that movie information will be transferred from that hard disk to the main memory okay so here cpu can access cpu can execute a program if the program resides in main memory only okay so that is about uh, what is memory here processor means it is a combination of alu and cu alu means arithmetic logic unit it performs all the operations arithmetic operations logical operations shift operations so anything in the computer is executed by alu we know that cpu is microprocessor is the brain of the computer alu is the brain of the microprocessor anything in the computer is executed by alu only next here we have control unit control unit is mainly useful for decoding purpose in order to determine which operation alu has to perform so that is decided by control unit whether plus operation minus operation or and operation or operation or shift operations that is denoted by control unit control unit decodes the instruction it determines which operation it has to be performed okay so that is about uh, what is a microprocessor it is a combination of alu and uh, control unit here microprocessor is nothing but an ic we know what is ic ic means an integrated circuit chip an integrated circuit and then uh, a processor executes the program and then it produces the output so that output will be displayed with the help of output devices output devices are mainly useful in order to display information on the computer the commonly used output devices are monitor and printer monitor and printer so these two are the commonly used output devices so this is about uh, uh, what is the functionality of uh, io devices and uh, processor and memory so this processor is nothing but microprocessor so microprocessor is called as what processor as well as central processing unit now let us see the history of the microprocessor now currently in this uh, course we are discussing about uh, 8086 microprocessor so that's why i will discuss about the history up to 8086 microprocessor so after that uh, we have uh, several microprocessors were developed uh, i3 i5 i7 i11 so likewise we have several uh, pentium processors are there but in this course we are discussing about 8086 so we are going to discuss the history up to 8086 now let us discuss uh, history of the microprocessors or evolution of microprocessors or generation of microprocessors by keeping these characteristics in mind so we have different types of microprocessors such as all these are intel microprocessors the first microprocessor was 4004 and the next one is 8008 next one is 8080 microprocessor next one is 8085 and the last one is 8086 microprocessor four uh, here uh, we are discussing all these based upon these characteristics invented year size of microprocessor address lines that is nothing but what is the size of address bus data lines and what is the capacity of the memory next number of pins in that uh, uh, integrated circuit number of pins in the microprocessor 
and clock frequency. Let us see about the invented year. 4004 microprocessor was developed in 1971, whereas 8008 is developed in 1972. 8080 was developed in 1974, whereas the last two microprocessors are developed in 1976. And the next one is size of the microprocessor. The size of 4004 microprocessor is 4 bits. So that means 4004 microprocessor performs operations on 4 bit data. Whereas 8008, 8080, 8085. These three are 8-bit microprocessors. So the first 8-bit microprocessor was 8008. So this is the first 8-bit microprocessor. So all these are what? 8-bit microprocessors. 8-bit microprocessors. Whereas 8086 is a 16-bit microprocessor. A 16-bit microprocessor. So that means 8086 performs operations on 16-bit data. Nowadays we are using 32-bit microprocessors as well as 64-bit processors. And the next one is address bus. So address lines. So what is the size of the address bus? The size of 4004 microprocessor is 10 bits. Whereas the size of 8008 is 14 bits. 14 bits, whereas the size of 8080 and 8085 is 16 bits. 8086 microprocessor address bus size is 20 bits. It uses to, uh, totally 20 address lines. So address lines or address bus, both are same only. So next one is data lines. So data lines is similar to size of the microprocessor. Okay, what is the size of the register? How many data lines it uses? So the size of 4, uh, 4004 uses totally 4 address lines. 4 bits address lines. Okay. 4 bits. Here 8008 uses 8 bit address line. Next the remaining 2 also uses 8 bit I am sorry data lines. 8 bit data lines. So it is 4 bit processor. 4 bit data line. So that means it performs operation on 4 bit data. So the size of the register is 4 bits. So here 8 bits, whereas the last one is 8086. Its size is what? It uses 16 data lines. 16 data lines, 8 data lines, whereas 4004 uses 4 data lines. And the next one is memory. So here memory always depends upon the size of the address bus. So the size, the memory, the maximum memory of the maximum main memory. So the capacity of the main memory in 4004 is, what is the size of the address bus? 10. So 2 power 10. 2 power 10 is nothing but 1 kilobyte. Next 8008 means, here what is the address bus? 14. So 2 power 14. 2 power 14 means 16 kilobyte. 16 kilobyte. 2 power 14 means what? 16 kilobyte. So the next two are 1616. 16. Address bus size 1616. 16. 2 power 16 means 64 kilobyte. 64 kilobyte. Whereas the last one is what? 20 address lines. So 2 power 20. So 2 power 20 is nothing but 1 megabyte. So 1 megabyte is the size of the main memory. Next, let us see about pins. So, how many pins are available in that uh, microprocessor IC, integrated circuit? 4004 totally contains 16 pins. 8008 contains 18 pins. Whereas the remaining 3 microprocessors contains 40 pins. 40 pins. So, each pin has some functionality. And the next one is clock frequency. So, what is the frequency? So, 4004 operates at 740 kilohertz whereas 8008 operates at 800 kilohertz 8080 operates at 2 megahertz 8085 operates at 
थ्री मेगा हेच एट जीरो एट सिक्स अपर एट सी एट फाइव मेगा हेच टू फाइव मेगा हेच टू टेन मेगा हेच इन एट जीरो एट सिक्स वी हैव थ्री वर्षन आर दे एट जीरो एट सिक्स अपर एट सेट फाइव मेगा हेच नेक्स्ट वी हैव एट जीरो एट सिक्स फाइव पॉइंट टू दिस वर्षन अपर एट सेट एट मेगा हेच नेक्स्ट वी हैव एट जीरो एट सिक्स फाइव पॉइंट वन इट अपर एट सेट टेन मेगा हेच सो दैट्स वाई द फ्रीक्वेंसी रेंज इज फ्रॉम फाइव टू टेन मेगा हेच सो दिस इज अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू माइक्रो प्रोसेसर्स